Hello and welcome. I'm uh, Dr. Victor Valcalescu, founder and CEO of Delphi Diagnostics, and I wanted to take a moment to share with you a bit about myself and what led me down a remarkable path of cancer diagnostics. My journey into the world of science and medicine started with a simple yet profound question. How can we do better in the fight against cancer? It was this question that ignited my passion on a, and set me on a course that got me to where I am here today with you. Now, cancer is a formidable adversary, one that affects millions of lives worldwide, but it's also a puzzle, a complex enigma that may hold secrets, actually, to helping us fight this terrible disease. I was inspired as a physician scientist by the idea that we could unlock these secrets and find ways to detect cancer earlier when treatment options are most effective. Now, I've had the privilege of working and leading a number of great teams, starting with those at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine, and it was there that we decoded the very first cancer genomes and over time began to explore ways in which we could use this information in a new way, through liquid biopsies. Now, liquid biopsies are groundbreaking approaches that would change the way in which we diagnose cancer by looking in the blood in a totally non-invasive fashion to detect this disease using cancer-related alterations. And when we think about where cancer is having an overwhelming impact and where we could make a difference through early detection, we see one cancer that really stands out. Lung cancer is by far humanity's greatest cancer killer, both in the US and around the world, and the resulting death is even higher when you consider, consider underserved populations, including people of color and those of lower socioeconomic status. Now, we've known for some time that low-dose CT scans are effective in detecting lung cancer, but sadly, only about 6% of the 15 million eligible adults that get them, that's 14 million in the US that are not getting screening for lung cancer today. Now, there are a number of reasons why folks are not getting screened, and these are largely related to the fact that CT testing is not easily accessible. We need a better way to screen for lung cancer that can reach many more individuals. So, what if we developed a new generation of blood-based liquid biopsies using a simple blood draw to screen patients for cancer? The approach would have to be high-performing and accessible, something that none of the liquid biopsy approaches to date have achieved. And what if we made this solution singularly focused on lung cancer, at least initially, the largest cancer killer? Well, we're about to find out. Today, I wanna to tell you about Delphi Diagnostics is approaching this challenge. It's through a view of DNA fragments in the blood, or the fragmentome, what I believe is the next step in early cancer detection. Now, screening tests based on fragmentome science or fragmentomics will not only have the accuracy, accessibility, and affordability needed to help save millions of lives on a global scale, but could significantly reduce the existing barriers to care. And this, I believe, is really an incredible opportunity for the future, really for all of us. Now, Delphi is a next-generation liquid biopsy company. Our field rests on the fact that when cells die, their DNA gets into the bloodstream and becomes cell-free DNA. Now, most liquid biopsy companies use a needle in the haystack approach. They look for mutations, they look for methylation, known to be associated with cancer. But this requires large amount of blood and expensive amounts of DNA sequencing. And these are approaches that are neither very convenient nor can be applied to all that need them on a public health scale. So my lab at Johns Hopkins made the discovery that because cancer cells grow in a more chaotic fashion than normal cells, when they die, they leave behind a telltale patterns of cell-free DNA in the blood. The patterns in people without cancer are consistent. In contrast, profiles of individuals without cancer are highly variable. And Delphi looks at all the DNA fragments or fragmentomes, representing DNA in the blood from normal and cancer cells in individuals and examines them through our artificial intelligence pipeline. An analogy I like to make is that most liquid biopsy tests look for the, look for the equivalent of one or a few stones thrown into a lake. Could be easily missed while Delphi looks at the ripples on the water anywhere on the lake long after the stones hit the water, a far easier and more efficient approach. Delphi is an entirely new way to detect cancer. 
And although the laboratory side of this test has few steps and requires low coverage sequencing, the data that we obtain is highly complex. Now we combine advanced machine learning and whole genome sequence data to accurately compare an individual's cell-free DNA fragmentome against large populations with or without cancer. The test obtains millions of data points, orders of magnitude more than information is possible with conventional technologies to reliably identify those who may have cancer, including early stage disease and its tissue of origin. Today, I'm really proud to share some exciting news. We're introducing our first commercial test based on the fragmentome technology I just described. It's called First Look Lung. You can see it up here on this slide, very exciting moment. Now, First Look Lung is a liquid biopsy test dedicated solely to enhancing lung cancer detection through a routine blood work. It's accurate, it's accessible, and it's reflection of the Delphi mission to solve the highest burden health issues in the world today. How does it work? A simple blood, blood sample, one vial, is drawn at a doctor's office and sent in for analysis. Results are shared back within two weeks. And the performance of the test is really impressive. An elevated result means that First Look Lung has detected signs of lung cancer, and a confirmatory low-dose CT scan should be considered. A not elevated result, on the other hand, means there's no sign of cancer. We've just completed a national multi-center clinical validation study of nearly 1,000 individuals for this test, and the results show impressive sensitivity for detection of lung cancer, across stages and histologies. Our tests identified nearly 80%, at least 80% of cancers drawn from a screening population and was not affected by non-cancerous lung nodules. And because First Look has a 99.7% negative predictive value or NPV, someone who does not show signs of lung cancer with our test is almost certain to be cancer free. These results are robust to differences in demographic characteristics and comorbidities. Overall, First Look provides clear data to identify those patients who would benefit most from a low-dose CT and to help patients and their providers determine the next best step in lung cancer screening process. Now, importantly, we estimate that even modest adoption of this test has the potential to prevent thousands of cancer deaths within five years in the United States. Tomorrow, at the National Chess Meeting in Honolulu, we look forward to sharing additional data from our clinical validation study, which is the largest ever independent validation of lung cancer screening test ever performed. Importantly, First Look Lung not only has high performance, but is also accessible and affordable. And this is because the Delphi platform is inherently lower cost than conventional first generation liquid biopsies. Our efficient wet lab process and our low sequencing depth lowers costs to facilitate broad use on a population-wide scale. And while we're focused on the US right now, we aim to make First Look widely scalable, not only nationally, but broadly around the world. We're really looking forward to introducing First Look through an early experience program this fall in, health, in select health systems in the US. With our FDA breakthrough device designation, we will obtain additional clinical validation to bring the test to as many people as possible. Our cascade trial involving thousands of patients is underway and will pave the way for an IVD submission in the future. And finally, we've shown that our technology can help detect other cancers as well as help patients in the continuum of cancer care. And we look forward to bringing forth additional practice changing products as we develop them with the same underlying Delphi platform. You know, we really believe that making these tests available to millions of people around the world who need them most, we can save countless lives and reduce the impact of care on a global scale. We believe that the reduction of cancer deaths through early detection will really be one of the greatest achievements in public health in our lifetimes. And with that, I wanna thank you all very much for attending and happy to take any questions on the side. Mm -hmm.